Hi there. I'm in a small camper. What am I doing? Find out. Stick around. It's Pat from Everything RV by Pat. Wanted to just uh, take a moment and show you around this camper. We are at um, Richardson's RV in Riverside, California. And we're, my wife and I are looking at a teardrop trailer. We're, we're thinking about getting one for small weekend kind of um, outdoor activities. And we're also going to uh, think about maybe letting our kids use this RV in the future. So this video is just as much for my son and uh, as it is for for you, my viewers. So I want to let want to take a minute and let you see what uh, we're looking at. All right, this is the inside of the Braxton RV um, bushwhacker. It's a 10 uh, something. I'll give you the specs on it in a minute. But what we're looking at is the foot of the bed. It has an air conditioner. That's the plug for the air conditioner. It only, the air conditioner only works on AC. A fairly large back cabinet and a good size side cabinet. I'll manipulate here. You can see. This goes in and it goes all the way across from one side to the other. This side cabinet, fairly good sized. It does have what looks to be a thermostat. I believe that's for the heater only. Um, these are, there's your heater vents down here that's your heater air return. Um, this is your electrical. Over here is the radio um, with the uh, television antenna that's on the roof. You can mount a television um, right there and, and you can run your run your audio for your television through the through the radio as well um, they're telling me it's all Bluetooth connected now let's look at the front that's where your fire extinguisher would be it's not in here for the showroom purposes up top two little shelves uh, virtually no lip on this shelf however I think you can easily add a bungee cord that goes across and and secure items in there from falling during travel um, up here is a good size lip for a shelf at the headboard and in the headboard you have sliding uh, area for you know maybe storing something that you can only use it at night uh, the mattress is you know relatively thin so there's a good look at it. Maybe two and a half to three inches thick. Okay, I've stacked the two mattresses and that gives us the ability to look in the storage container. And here we have full access to the storage compartment. It's the thickness of a two by four. It goes back a little bit further. Um, one real nice thing about this is that these compartments are on hinges but it is just plywood um, and there's a better look at the two mattresses stacked on top of each other 
identical storage on the other side as well. Outside, uh, one of the things that I like about this is the step into it um, on aluminum and it is very solid when you step on it. Two, 235, 75 R15 with five hole, one, two, three, four, five, five lugs. Trying to get a better look at it. Um, can't quite because we're in a showroom, in an indoor showroom. This is kind of nice at the indoor showroom. On the front, you have the 20 pound propane tank. You're gonna get one battery with it when, when it delivers from this dealership. Um, has a decent rack on the front. Bushwhacker logo on the front. Uh, aluminum air vent with a fan in it. A very decent fan. Roof rack on the top. On the top you see the exit vents for the air conditioning unit. The air conditioning input or intake vent is here on the side. Off the back slightly is the television antenna. Down here you have the fresh water connection. That's a, a, a fill only for your tank. It does not have a city connector. Uh, and then we have a, it's running off of uh, 110 right now with probably a 15 amp or a 30, 20 amp connector. Uh, dog wound into a 30 amp. Uh, below that is the, the heater vents. Um, it does have stabilizers and a spare tire. Let me get down here if I can see the spare tire. I think the spare tire is probably the lowest part of the clearance. It has a big old scratch on the back of it. That's interesting. Now in the kitchen area, the kitchen area is kind of interesting. The kitchen is simply an ice chest, a sink basin that drains to the outside, a two burner stove, no cupboards or cabinets. Okay, just looking at a different RV, but this is the this is a refrigerator that I believe is a 12 volt refrigerator uh, for an outdoor kitchen on a J Feather Micro. Um, but it is about the right size to fit in the rear compartment, and it would fit right here. It'd be just a little higher than the countertop. But that's what I would put in there. Depth. Depth is actually less. Depth is less, so it would stick. So it would be better because the height sits up higher. Sits up a little so higher. And kind of... Yeah. That's exactly what I would do. This unit has a sale price of $15,995. Now let's talk about the other RV that we looked at at the same Richardson's RV. This is a used 2021 Braxton Creek Bushwhacker 10FB. The 10FB has been discontinued, but it is limited to stock on hand. This is a used unit. It has a kitchen that has been totally remodeled. As you can see, the kitchen cabinet has been completely taken out. The countertop has been taken out. The, what is left is basically plywood. Um, the people who had it prior to trading it back in had simply removed it, made a new cabinet, used the same existing stove, removed the sink, put the sprayer port in the front gave a cabinet so there is a little bit of storage there but whatever storage you have will be riding on top of the furnace and they installed a fairly nice 12 volt and 110 household electric refrigerator that opens from the top there is no guarantee on this unit that it is working or otherwise. 
it has a top uh, canopy all, that would go with it. Uh, but everything else is basically the same. There's less cabinetry, but a better place to mount the TV. Same stereo, same furnace, same refrigeration unit. Um, it is priced at thirteen nine ninety five. Well, that'll do it for today, folks. Um, thank you for uh, joining me in this uh, beginning of our search for a smaller camper. Just wanted to uh, show you just the first one we looked at. Um, actually, it's the second one, but we'll, but we I didn't get video of the first one. Anyway, uh, thanks again to Richardson's RV. Uh, the The link is going to be in the description below. And uh, I appreciate them very much for taking time to show us a used trailer as well as a new trailer, uh, both of the same uh, version. One's a 21, the other one's a 22. The new one's a 22 version of the Bushwhacker. Um, we'll be putting more videos up. We'll be putting more videos up. So check over here in the in our links and. Um, hope that you can stick around and watch some other videos from this channel. If you've enjoyed uh, what you've seen, give me a like, one of those, and feel free to subscribe and leave a comment down in, in the comment section below. Um, as always, thanks for joining us. Get out and enjoy the world around you. Bye for now.